Hey everybody, what's happening? And welcome back. And if it's your first time here, well, welcome. I'm Craig, this is Foxy, and welcome to the show. So in today's video, we're gonna break down the big changes that I made behind me here. Well, some of the things that I did was to cut down how big my pedal board was by taking out all these excess switches I had to switch this, click this, click this, to get a different amp head, and it was just a mess, a nightmare. Um, as you can see from behind, if you've seen any of my other videos, I've turned around and moved all my heads to a different location to include this new Boss Katana that I got in. Um, I got my other black star up here that should be connected in shortly. I turned around. I have two more amps over the other side that you can't see, as well as I put a, a new power unit in as well. And the big thing that is right here, which is huge, is the KHE Audio Electronics Amplifier Cabinet Selector. This selector allows me to connect up eight amplifiers, and it doesn't matter if they're amplifier heads, tube, digital, doesn't matter, and four cabinets all simultaneously with a switch that I can switch from one to the other in succession as quick as I want it to. And you'll see that in a little bit later on uh, in the video. So with that being said, let's kick it. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do in the video is we are going to turn around and I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick uh, video progression of taking everything apart, putting it back together, and so you can kind of see the differences. And then after that, we will turn around and I'll let you see how it works, which is so, so cool. The way you can just flip the switch from one to the other to the other to the other makes it so much easier to work with. Absolutely love this product. So let's kick it off. So what you see here is the wiring nightmare that I had at the time of the remodel. You can see all the different switches that are connected up, wires all over the place. Each one of these switches are going to different cabinets. They're also tied into different amplifiers. And it's just a mess. Even the uh, 1U power supply you see up there, I didn't have that originally. That actually I put in before I started recording this portion of the video. And again, as I zoom in, you can see the um, different switches as I that I have that allows me to change out to different amplifiers. It is pretty cool how it worked um, because next to my chair where I normally sit, I could hit one switch and change from amp to amp. However, you can see this is a wiring nightmare. So what I decided to do was do a complete remodel of my area there or my studio, so to speak. And to do that, I needed to find the right product that would allow me to switch between all my different cabs and all my different amplifiers. And what I came up with is the KH or E Audio Electronics Amplifier Cabinet Selector Switch. This thing is pretty remarkable. They have all different sizes that you can get. So whether you're looking for small, medium, large, like maybe you have four amp heads and two cabinets, or maybe you have four amp heads and four cabinets, and also four FX channels, if you like. Um, in the case of mine here, you can see I got eight amplifiers and four cabinets is what I ended up getting. Now, as you can see here, I'm just starting to get to work on making the changes and putting everything together um, and start the connectivity. 
Um, the thing I love about this is with this particular system, the KHE um, amplifier cabinet selectors, it doesn't matter whether it's digital, whether it's tube, whatever the case may be, it will connect up to all of them. So what it gave me the advantage was I was able to turn around and connect to all my, all my amplifiers. And look at the difference in cleanliness now that I've turned around and made all my connections. You can see right away the four cabinets are connected up. So I select the cabinet I want. Um, and then from there, I'm able to select the amplifier I want. What I love about the system is how easy and how clean it is. I mean, when you look at the before and after, what a difference. Um, the other thing I did, which I show a little bit on this video, is I also installed a new shelving unit to the left. I moved a couple amp heads over to the left. I also moved my Behringer over that ties into my keyboard system over to uh, the left and on that shelving system as well. Um, the thing I like about this is look at how nice and neat everything is. Um, Everything's just clean, looks good, it all ties together, and it doesn't look like a nightmare anymore um, like it did before. So what I'd like to do is um, move on and we will talk about, or I should say, we'll go ahead and match all the controls so that you are able to hear the differences. And it's really cool how you can just flip the switch and go from one to another. So what I'll do is I'll put a looper on and turn around and from the looper, excuse me, I'll put the looper on and then from there with the looper, we'll be able to switch to the different amp heads and also switch to the different cabinets that I have mic'd up. So uh, at this point, let's go ahead and get into that portion. So my final thoughts. Since I've got this system in place and made all the changes behind me, I am absolutely ecstatic. 
Um, I love this switcher. It is phenomenal. It works perfectly. Um, I haven't hooked up my attenuator yet. I do have an attenuator standing by, and we will be reviewing that separately once I connect it up, what it does, what it's for, and the whole works. Um, but the fact that these devices, you can get so many different sizes. They got four by two. They've got uh, eight by four, as we said, four by four. You can do them in series, so you can have multiple boxes. It's just an excellent device uh, to have. And uh, you know that from me reading off everything that I've talked about um, with, the st with the stats, the documentation, everything. And Marcus over there was absolutely phenomenal. I appreci appreciate him so much. Um, giving me information, pointing me in the right direction. Just a great process overall. Uh, I really appreciated him and the company as well. Great product. Um, with that being said, I would ask you if you enjoyed this video and got some information out of it that you enjoyed, please, if you would, hit the like button and... Um, also, make a comment down below on your thoughts and what you think of the whole video overall. Give me any suggestions, good, bad, or indifferent. I don't care. I appreciate all of them. Anything I can do to get better. Um, also, by subscribing to the channel, um, as we get bigger and we start to monetize, every bit of the money that we get in, 100% of the profits, profit is going to Guardian Angels Medical Service Dogs Guardian Angels provides service dogs for veterans and first responders at no cost to the individual. Each dog costs $29,000 to train and takes between 18 months to two years to train. And then they're given to the veteran or first responder at no cost. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. If you felt it enjoyable and you liked it, please go ahead and like, and if you would, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. You can leave comments below, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, also, you can see a couple more videos below. You can choose one if you'd like to watch. And again, thanks for watching our video. Take care.